Hey everybody, welcome back to Cinefix Now. We already did the best movies 2013. Time for the worst movies 2013. Rapid fire, worst movies 2013. Ready? Go. One of the worst movies of 2013, for me anyways, was After Earth. I was so excited to see it. Granted, Jaden Smith, maybe not the best actor, but his dad, Will Smith, certainly is. There are some major story and acting problems there that just kind of ruined it for me. So I have to say, that was undoubtedly the worst movie that I saw in 2013. Laughingly horrible. I'm embarrassed to say I saw Hangover 3. I should have stopped it too, but no, I had to see if they redeemed themselves. They did not redeem themselves. Not funny. Um, I mean, I appreciate that they uh, diverged from the structure of the first two, but uh, I mean, you get these great actors, but they didn't give them anything to do, and it was really just not funny. It kind of feels like punching a retarded kid in the face after you've already shoved him over, but I feel like the internship was probably the worst movie of last year. There was no reason to make it. It was totally unoffensive. They tried absolutely nothing. Vince Vaughn needs money or something. I don't know. Just abysmal. Not in like, oh, that's so bad that you should watch it. It's a train wreck. It's abysmal because it's the sort of fine that's just like, eh. I have to say the worst movie of the year for me is The Counselor. Ridley Scott directing, Cormac McCarthy's screenplay debut, uh, Cameron Diaz, Penelope Cruz, Brad Pitt, Javier Bardem, this package for this film, I was so excited to go to the theaters and see this one. I felt like there was just, it was a package for success that they just felt like, okay, well here's all the pieces, we're not even gonna care about it. It was so over the top. And the whole time you felt like this is gonna be this amazing, spectacular thing and it just fell flat. And actually, I mean like even just the act, I just, I can't, I can go on forever. I hated it. <laughs> when I was a kid, I played with G.I. Joes, almost nonstop. Like, I brought them everywhere. So when G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra came out, I actually didn't mind it that much. It knew what it was, it was silly, it was bad, and, but at the same time, it's like, hey, we're making a G.I. Joe movie, we're gonna go f***ing nuts. And I didn't mind that at all. G.I. Joe Retaliation was the worst movie of 2013. It was so disappointing because it was such a piece of junk. The action was just all over the place. None of it made any sense. And like the reshoots that they spent a year doing didn't add anything to it. It was terrible and it ruined my whole childhood. So I'm gonna say the worst movie this year was World War Z. I was such a huge fan of the book that going in and seeing not at all anything like the book was really disappointing. I mean, it might as well have just not been called World War Z. In the end, it just came across as Left for Dead the movie. The only good thing to come out of it was that uh, Israeli character that lost her hand. She was pretty badass. I thought the worst movie of 2013 that I saw was uh, Oz the Great and Powerful. Underneath all the sort of candy-colored, um, three-dimensional Oz great and powerfulness, there was not much of a story. There did manage to be two fully realized female characters, and yet it didn't manage to pe pass the Bechdel test because every time the two sisters were talking to each other, they were just fighting about a dude, which I found rather disappointing. So the worst movie of 2013 for me was Elysium. I'm probably gonna get raked over the coals for this. I just was disappointed by it. District 9 is by far one of my favorite movies. Neil Blomkamp is a genius, and the way he made us feel like those creatures were people was amazing. This one, I had no connection, and I could not stand Jodie Foster's accent, or I don't know what that was, but it was terrible. Ugh, and she's great, and then it's bad, it's really bad. And those are some of our worst movies of 2013, according to all of us here at Cinefix. Let us know what your worst movies of 2013 were in the comments below. Make sure to come back next time for more movie news on Cinefix Now.